Uh, yeah, we better wait for Denise. We're waiting for Denise to, okay, so. We don't dare move forward without the boss. Deli Polly? Here. Pat Curdy? Karen Lundstedt? Here. Ellen Maurer? Here. Bill Ratzer? Here. Okay, let's note uh, that Pat Grudy is not available to be with us tonight. He's absent. Um, okay, tonight we will be uh, following the agenda as, as uh, I'll outline here. Um, we'll be going through the president's report. Uh, I don't think we're going to have any student board rep reports tonight uh, as Correct. it's the summer. Uh, superintendent's report, invitation for public comment will follow that. Then we will go through our consent vote agenda. Um, program and personnel committee will be reported on by Chairperson Maurer. Facilities and finance committee will be presented by Chair and Batson. Uh, the property committee by Chairman Arthur. Uh, a brief CEDAW report by myself, uh, Illinois Association of School Boards, by Member Batson. Uh, we will not need to have an executive session for employment and employees. Employment and employees um, and we'll, that will be covered. Uh, the recommendation will come from the superintendent about the closed session minutes during his report. Right. And then we will have time to adjourn and hopefully then um, get home and cheer on our so, um, with that, uh, as uh, sorry as Pat is not to be here tonight, um, I will get started and just uh, say we have the great pleasure to recognize our superintendent, Prentice Lee, for his esteemed honor of being uh, elected the superintendent of the year for the Lake, by the Lake County Board of Superintendents, or the whole. So we just really uh, want to congratulate you, Prentice. We so appreciate all that you do for our district. We have so much respect for all that you bring about and um, your many gifts that cover really a huge gamut of different uh, paths that you have to wear in your position as superintendent. So we couldn't be happier to have you with us and we are so glad to have Representative Carol Senti here who would like to make a presentation as well. This is uh, the best kept secret of the week in preparing for this board meeting. I, I want to tell you, Denise Neal. <laughs> yes, we were just because this wasn't on the agenda today, that I received. And I so and I wasn't sure oh. if you knew or not. So I didn't say see you later. <laughs> um, so welcome everyone, or excuse me. Thank you for having me, everyone. <laughs> and um, I am here. I'm sorry that Ed Sullivan could not with the weather because this um, resolution is from both of us, so you know okay. that. Um, but we, both of us, are very proud to give you this uh, resolution. Uh, resolution, and for the uh, people at home honoring Dr. Prentice Lee, Superintendent of District 128, acknowledging your recognition with the Lake County Superintendent as the Lake County Superintendent of the Year by your peers. Always nice to be uh, honored by your own peers who know the hard work you do. Um, we concur it's well-deserved honor, and Ed Sullivan and I wanted to personally appear before the board to congratulate Prentice on receiving your award and give you our own resolution. Uh, as members of the board that hired Dr. Lee and those that work with him in the exemplary school district that you are, um, that you collectively lead. I'm sure you're aware of Prentice's wealth of talents, but I'd like to speak briefly about my own experiences in working with Prentice since I've become a state rep. Um, I consider Dr. Lee not only a fine superintendent who I've partnered with on local and state issues, um, but I also consider him a mentor, a resource, and a friend. 
Um, I don't know of a superintendent that has made more time to assist me in becoming an advocate and a voice for K through 12 education. And to me that's been very important because when you don't have that knowledge, you cannot um, advocate as well. So uh, to tell you a little bit about what he's done, he spent countless hours answering my questions about a plethora of educational issues and he's attended and contributed to District 59 events. In fact, your school district graciously, graciously has hosted many of my events. Prentice has played a crucial role in helping me to form an opinion on educational legislative issues, both large and small, including pension reform. We've had countless hours on uh, pension reform discussions and appropriating our annual budget for education. This was my first year that I served on that committee, as well as to navigate details of education-related uh, legislation that I've sponsored and how my own legislation may affect um, the uh, school districts, but never unfunded band-aids because <laughs> I have been taught well by practice <laughs> never to vote for those. Um, but of particular value to me is the um, District 59 semi-annual superintendent roundtables we have in the education forums, which really in part have been successful because of your collaboration with me and getting everyone together. Um, so I truly appreciate that. When I talk to people formally or informally, um, to groups about a relationship that they might form with um, uh, a leader in their community, I really do always use my effective uh, working relationship with you as um, uh, a, a primary example. And I could go on and on, but suffice to say, um, I believe the board, the students and families of School District 128 are fortunate to have you in this leadership position. And uh, I wanted to just be part and, and, and congratulate you and, and give you this resolution. First of all, thank you so much for, for coming tonight because it was really unexpected and the staff did a great job of <laughs> keeping the secret and I'll have to find out who tomorrow, you know, I have to lean on for doing that. Uh, but I suspect I know the, the cast of characters, but thank you for that and thank you for your partnership uh, and uh, our other area legislators for working with us in Lake County. Um, I think uh, we could not do that without a partnership with you um, and your colleagues who are working with us and I, and I think um, one of the things that, that has effectively come out of Lake County in the last couple of years because of that partnership is a real leadership of our superintendents working with our legislators and I think it's become uh, a model for other areas in the state as we move forward and we've just begun to um, you know, start that process so it's, it's very, very exciting but there have to be legislators on the other end that are willing to have those conversations uh, and they're willing to do the kind of learning that, that you're doing and also contribute to that discussion from the other side, from the legislative side and those other points of view so we understand the dynamics that you're dealing with as a legislator in the complicated world that you live in, which is not unlike the world that we live in and the world the principals live in uh, both days and trying to navigate uh, working in public schools. But we know that uh, it's very complicated on the state legislature and there are many factors that you have to uh, consider in uh, deliberating before you vote, but um, we can't have a voice uh, in that discussion as you've indicated tonight unless we also have partners on the other side who are willing to engage in that discussion um, and are looking out for the best interest of students in the state of Illinois. So we really appreciate you, Ed, uh, Terry Link, Dan Duffy, who also represents this area, this particular area, uh, who have all been accessible um, at different times and have all been willing to engage in that discussion. So we're very appreciative. Um, so I guess in, uh, for lack of better terms, right back at uh, <laughs> you and the rest of the legislators from our area. So thank you very much, and thank you for coming out tonight to do this very special recognition. It's it, very meaningful to me. So thank Thanks. you. Uh, me also, and have a nice evening. Great, thank, thank you.
do not have a student school board representative report tonight, so let's move on to our superintendent's report. Well, we have, uh, it's summertime, but we still yeah. have some great news to report yeah. in District 128. First of all, VHHS 2013 graduate Jennifer Clausen was named to the Chicago Tribune 2012 13 scholar athlete team. As a Cougar, Jennifer played softball and volleyball while maintaining a 4.05 GPA and earning a 31 on her ACT. She was a member of the National Honor Society, an Illinois State Scholar, and an AP Scholar. Jennifer will be attending Purdue University in the fall. Congratulations to VHHS May Cougar Class Act Award winners Morgan Levy, uh, Justin Falk, Emily Katz, Dana Dubensky, Ronnie Lester, Emmett Naughton, Kristen Guglielmi, Steph Marino, Angela Lee, Lisa Brightonfield, Laura Cotton, Stella Kayamova, Emma Brutman, and Gabriel Art Altmark. Congratulations to LHS May Students of the Month, Brit Brittany Algram, Samantha Bacharin, um, Haley Huxel, John Mayer, <coughs> Emily Gilbertson, Eric Hatterling, Amanda Caldwell, Stephanie Allen, Chris Considine, Ayobami Akinladi, Mike uh, Dellisman, and Matt Foley. The Illinois State Board of Education, along with the Illinois Education Association and the Illinois Federation of Teachers, recently honored 36 educators who were chosen as the best in their field of expertise during the 2012-13 school year by their respective professional education organizations. The educators, all of whom earned awards for their work teaching specific subjects, were recognized during a luncheon at the Governor's Mansion in Springfield on June 10th. Among the 36 educators recognized were LHS English teachers Ann Singleton and Rebecca Kenny, who were recognized as Outstanding General Education Teachers of the Year by the Illinois Council for Exceptional Children. They co-teach world literature at LHS very, very well-deserved uh, recognition. Congratulations to Karen Martin, uh, VHHS CEDAW Education Life Skills Teacher, on receiving the CEDAW Employee of the Month Award. She was honored at last month's CEDAW <coughs> board meeting. District 128 Communications Director Mary Todrick <coughs> will receive an award of excellence from the National School Public Relations Association, or INSPRA, for the district's mobile app. Mary will receive, uh, accept, receive and accept the award at next month's INSPRA seminar, where she and D128 Technology Director Mick Torres will present a session about the development of the D128 mobile app. So Mary, congratulations to you and Mick. That's a great work on that. Um, I'm very leading much work on that. And finally this evening, we have just received from the Government Finance Officers Association in Chicago recognition that says, we are pleased to notify you that your comprehensive annual financial report for the fiscal year into June 30th, 2012 qualifies for a Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Reporting. The Certificate of Achievement is the highest form of recognition in governmental accounting and financial reporting, and its attainment represents a significant accomplishment by a government and its management. And um, Yasmin will be receiving a plaque from uh, the GFOA uh, on behalf of the school district in the near future. So yes, congratulations to you and your team uh, and everyone else who works on our financial accountability. So that's a, a great honor. So yes, that deserves <laughs> Okay, and that concludes the good news. Uh, we have, uh, as you will note in your packet, one donation um, this um, uh, month for June. Uh, and this is to the Illinois Tool Works Foundation. Uh, we want to acknowledge uh, the Illinois Tool Works Foundation for donating $300 to the Libertyville High School Best Buddies program as part of your three for one matching gift program, uh, which is an employee donation from Jeff Gearing. So we're very appreciative of Mr. Gearing and uh, ITWF. So thanks to them. Uh, next in your packet, the board will uh, note that we had two FOIA requests for this month. Um, as noted, and uh, after a thorough review of our uh, closed session minutes, our semi-annual closed uh, session minutes, it's the recommendation of the administration at this point that we do not release uh, any of the closed session minutes. Um, and depending on um, 
what your uh, recommendation and vote is here, or your vote is on my recommendation, then we will either will or will not need a closed session to further uh, review those. So I would ask for a uh, motion um, um, that we not release any of the closed session minutes. I move that we not release the closed session minutes. Second. A roll call, please. Arthur? Aye. Batson? Aye. Deli Poli? Aye. Lundstedt? Aye. Maurer? Aye. Ranser? Aye. Uh, then, uh, Karen, we will not need a closed session okay. to review the closed session minutes. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank and you. that concludes the superintendent's report. All right. Uh, now it is time to have an invitation for public comment. If there's anyone from the public that would like to make a comment, which there is not. So <coughs> we will move on to our consent and vote agenda. Um, no, I make a motion that we approve our consent vote agenda. Second. Can I just ask a question? Sure. We, Addition, That's what we went over in closed session. Okay. So, um, and I, it's. Do you I want to add that, add that to the consent vote agenda? Do you mean we need it as part of the motion, or is that? Or no, that's just part of the closed session. session. It's, it's just, just more detailed. Detailed. That will be appended okay. to the minutes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's just more detailed. Um, I, I noted. That I wondered if there was a. Um, in the minutes, um, the name of the, the student rep from Vernon is maybe he's incorrect, unless maybe he has goes by a different person. Brand, we had Brandon Cole, was Brandon Cole, as Eric, Cohen and I, or as it Eric Cohen. It was Brandon, and that's oh, what yeah. I, I just wanted. It is Brandon. Cohen. So could it we make Brandon that correction? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, yes. Thank you. So Jenny, do we need maybe. another motion? Make motion to to correct the correct the as amended. As amended. Brandon Brand Eric. Thank you. Second. All right. Thank you. Uh, may I have a roll call, please? Batson. Aye. Deli Polly. Aye. Lundstedt. Aye. Mauer. Aye. Ratzer. Aye. Arthur. Aye. Okay. Motion passes. All right. Now we move on to our program and personnel committee report. Uh, Chairperson Mauer. Okay, we have five board policies up for a second reading um, under the headings of safety, drug and alcohol-free workplace, student teachers, graduation requirements, and student discipline. Is there a second reading? Um, we need a motion to accept and adopt them. Nothing has changed since, the last, since they've been read the first time. Do we need one motion or one for each? Just one. One Just motion one for motion. these, for this one. section. Okay, I move that we uh, accept these uh, po five policies for a second reading and adoption. Second. Okay, roll call, please. Lundstedt? Aye. Mauer? Aye. Ratzer? Aye. Arthur? Aye. Batson? Aye. Deli Polly? Aye. Okay, motion carries. Motion carries. Um, mm -hmm. So then the next item, we have two educational tool requests as listed for orchestra and volleyball. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for a motion to accept those field trips. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Okay, roll call, please. Mauer? Aye. Bradser? Aye. Arthur? Aye. Batson? Aye. Deli Aye. Lundstedt? Aye. Okay, motion passed. Okay, so then the committee report is concluded. Good. All right, thank you. Now we'll move on to the Facilities <coughs> and Science Committee report. Chairperson Batson? Thank you. Uh, first item is the uh, prevailing wage resolution. Do we have to read the entire resolution yeah. or? Just make a motion to accept the resolution. Just refer to it. Just refer I to make it. a motion that we accept the prevailing wage resolution as presented. Second. Second. Any discussion? Any Roll call, please. Bradser? Aye. Arthur? Aye. Batson? Aye. Deli Polly? Aye. Lundstedt? Aye. Mauer? Aye. Okay, it's the, the next uh, item is the FY 2014 tentative budget. It's at this point that we uh, start working on our, our next year's budget. Uh, would you like to sure make um, any comment? Yes. We're, uh, we're in the process of finalizing our um, FY14 budget. Um, we determined at our committee meeting that we would uh, regroup sometime in July to um, review the budget in greater detail and then move it forward for adoption um, in August. Okay. Great. So we need a motion. Yeah, that, a motion and a second. Motion to accept motion. the tentative budget for to 2014. The tentative budget, yeah. 
Well, I move we, we uh, proceed with the agenda by the fourteen. And a second. Second. Any discussion? Okay, roll call, please. Arthur. Aye. Batson. Aye. Dolly Polly. Aye. Lundstedt. Aye. Mauer. Aye. Ratzer. Aye. And we also have a uh, resolution for a public hearing, which will take place on August 12th, 2013, at the Liberty Bowl High School Library. Um, this is during our, our um, regular facilities and finance committee meeting that evening, or at, uh, as part of that uh, evening's uh, activities. I make a motion that we approve the resolution calling for a public hearing on the 14th, 2014 budget. Second. Okay, we need a voice vote on this. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed? Okay, motion carries. Okay, and we have a school security uh, update. <coughs> Yeah, we, in committee, we, we discussed a number of um, initiatives that we're, we're considering and looking at bringing back to the board at a later date that would, um, in, a, in a reasonable and logical way, increase uh, security measures for the safety of our students and staff members in, in the district. And uh, next on the agenda is a 10-year um, life safety survey as a um, uh, report to the St Illinois State Board of Education. Do you have a brief uh, comment on that? Sure. Um, the State Board of Education requires all school districts to perform a 10-year life safety survey on their buildings. Um, we are in the process of completing the life safety survey at Libertyville High School. And part of the requirement is that for the Board of <coughs> Education to accept and approve submitting the life safety survey to um, the State Board of Education for their review. And the purpose this evening is to um, for you to accept um, the survey as it has been completed by the architect. Okay, so well, we don't need a um, motion tonight, do we? Are you accepted at that point? Yeah, it's accepting it, and on our application to the State Board of Education, we have to state that it was discussed by the board on a particular date. And then we make a resolution. Okay. Can we do it right now? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. let's do it. All right. I make a motion that we approve, uh, accept and approve the 10-year life safety survey for Libertyville High School to the Illinois State Board of Education, as was discussed previously. Second. Okay. Would we have a voice vote on that or roll call? So we'll roll voice call just voice. Just okay, just in case, yeah. All right, Arthur? Aye. Batson? Aye. Dolly Polly? Aye. Lundstedt? Aye. Mauer? Aye. Ratzer? Aye. Okay, and we have some bid recommendations. The first one for a technology bid for computer systems, uh, 300 HP Compact Pros. Uh, the recommendation here is for Insight Public Sector. Uh, at an amount of uh, 173,949, we have a um, motion. Is there a motion to accept that bid? So moved. So moved. Second. Second. Thank you. Any uh, mm -hmm. discussion, comments? Okay, roll call. Dolly Polly. Aye. Lundstedt? Aye. Mauer? Aye. Ratzer? Aye. Arthur? Aye. Batson? Aye. And our second uh, bid recommendation is for windows uh, and doors at the Libertyville High School cafeteria. Uh, this is the second time this is, we, we went through this process. Je Jeff yes, we it. went out for bid once before and there were no bidders. And we are we're coming back, and we did receive two bids for this project. So we have a um, a bid of uh, AGAE contractors, sixty-eight thousand five hundred and twelve dollars uh, for the work, and including the alternate bid for uh, uh, alternate one. So and alternate one is that the windows up above open up. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, can we have a motion? I make a motion that we accept the base bid and alternate one for AGAE contractors. Second. Any discussion? Okay, roll call, please. Lundstedt. Aye. Mauer. Aye. Ratzer. Aye. Arthur. 
Aye. Batson? Aye. Dolly Polly. Aye. Uh, anything else? I, do anyone else have any, uh, any additional comments? So that concludes the uh, facilities and finance. Great. Okay, moving on to the property committee. Chairperson Arthur? Uh, we had a property committee meeting on Monday, June 17th, uh, right here in this particular uh, room. Uh, we really covered three main areas, one being the LHS Master Property Utilization Plan, uh, which basically included discussions of options for the use of the Brainerd property if the building is returned to us. Uh, so this is in no way uh, a non-support uh, contention here with those trying to refab and, and uh, bring that building back to life, but it's due diligence on the board's part to make sure that we have a plan in place if, in fact, the building comes back into our possession. Uh, and then the second thing we were looking at under that overall master uh, property utilization plan was acquisition of any properties surrounding uh, the LHS existing properties so that was the uh, that was the discussion we had here on Monday night okay thank you and then briefly uh, CDL did have a meeting uh, quarterly meeting this month and as expected as I reported it last time um, when the budget was presented we did vote and approve the budget for this year it was a uh, 70 million dollars roughly um, and pretty flat from last year. They're moving from a cash to an accrual basis, as I mentioned before, so it's a little hard to compare things exactly. But um, a couple of the highlights from that, uh, the tuitions, the tuition being uh, billed to each district is 3% uh, lower than it was last year. They had a big bump a couple of years ago, of about 9%. Last year it stayed flat, and this year it actually was reduced a little bit. So, um, and that pretty much covers what we covered that day. Uh, is there anything from the Illinois Association of School Nothing Parks? at this time. Okay, we do not need to go into executive session as we discussed earlier. And so, unless there's any other business by anyone else, can I hear a motion to adjourn? I move to adjourn. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Go, Bob. Way to go. Aye. 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 Aye.